Hello, good day, and welcome to Encouraging My Prayer. I want to thank you for watching the video and sharing the video with your family and friends so together we can be encouragement to others and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading from Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. Be faithful to pray as intercessors who are fully alert in giving thanks to God. Brothers and sisters, we are to always pray, not for ourselves, but always pray for others. Just like Paul asked the church in Colossae to pray for him in his situation being imprisoned. And Epaphras always prayed for this church. We always need to be alert to hearing the Holy Spirit to pray for others by name. When a person's name comes to you and you do not know what or why to pray. Pray for the person as the Holy Spirit is leading you. And in your prayers, always give thanks to God for who He is and for what He has done and for what He will do, believing He will answer your prayers. And when you pray, have faith, believing that the Lord will answer your prayer for what is best for you and what is best for those who you are praying for. Lord, I just want to pray right now that we learn to pray to you. We stay alert to the Holy Spirit and respond when the Holy Spirit is telling us to, to pray for somebody and what we are to pray for. I pray that we always give you thanks because of what you have done for us, what you are providing for us, how you listen to our prayers, you hear all of our prayers, and you answer your prayer, answer our prayers with your will, knowing what is good for us. And everything you do for us is for our good. I thank you. for always hearing us. I pray right now too that while this message is for believers, but that someone who is listening, who hears this message, that does not know Jesus Christ as their Savior, they too will pray when they hear this message, believing that Jesus has died for them, that they confess their sins to the Father and ask for forgiveness, that the Father will forgive them and make them sons of God, and they will be filled with the Holy Spirit to pray for others and their needs as well as praying for themselves. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to give you the opportunity right now if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died for your sins and rose from the grave, you can ask for forgiveness for your sins. He will be faithful to forgive your sins, to become a child of God. I just ask you right now to Pray with me. Repeat after me as I pray. 
Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins, and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now that you've prayed that prayer, Jesus has become your Savior. But I want to encourage you not just to stop at making him your Savior, but to make him Lord of your life. Spend time with him daily in prayer and in the Word of God. In the Word of God, we learn to live the life we're supposed to live, pure, holy, and sinless.